Hello, my name is Mrs. Vilberg and welcome to Makeup by the Vilbergs. Today we are creating this tropical neon clown look. I hope you like it. Hey everyone, the Wilbergs here playing around with makeup again. Like you already seen in the intro, we're going full on tropical neon clown today. Uh, recreating the pattern from the look in the makeup. First we go in with the light color, supper colors for the base and blend it out. Followed by the two darker colors. Blend the dark colors out and go back and forth until you're happy with what you see. Set the base with translucent powder. Give the contouring some warm color with a blush. We're using the bright coral from Makiage. Brighten up the area underneath the eyes with a mix of white and beige eyeshadows, depending on your skin tone. The missus is very pale, so it's a great mix for her. Okay, it's time to start creating the shapes around the eyes. I'm going to use a bunch of Cryolon Supper Colors, and they are all listed below. First I draw the shape I want, and then I set it with translucent powder. I'm using the same translucent powder as before from Cryolon. Brush it off and go in with the colors. I'm using the color palette Acid from Sleek Makeup. Make sure to pound in the colors really good, we want this color to be really intense. And clean up the lines after you're done. Now it's time to create the second shape of the eye makeup and you basically just do the same thing but with other colors. We didn't have the exact same nuance of supper color to match the eyeshadows. For instance, I'm brightening up the green color we had with a touch of white. But as long as you paint the base for the eyeshadows to uh, match the same color scheme, it'll work out okay. And I tried it out before. Now when the colors are pounded in, we go in yet again with a white and beige eyeshadow to clean up the lines and get rid of any residue of those bright colors. We want clean lines. The following step is to start creating the shapes, dots and animal prints within the blobs. I'm using the black eyeglass from Pat McGrath to do it. Each color has its own pattern, so I finish each blob as I go. Setting it with the extreme black eyeshadow from Pat McGrath's Mothership Palette. I found some cool pink neon color from Stargazer that I will use to fill in the cheetah spots. Go in for the details with the black. Paint any moles with a dual ended marker from Pat McGraw Labs and paint the waterline in the eye with Makiash Black Eye Pen. And after that it's time for the lashes. Just throw on some mascara and glue them on. We don't have any specific brand of lashes that we use now, we usually do them ourselves by cutting up a bunch of different lashes to make them fit the Mrs. Eye better. Okay, now we're almost done. It's time to draw on a wonky clown mouth. Again, same technique as before. Krylon followed by powder 
followed by eyeshadow from the acid palette and finishing with PAX black eye gloss. Complete the makeup with a great highlighter on everything you need to highlight. And you're done! The makeup is done, so now it's time to jump into an outfit and a wig. See you soon! The look is complete and I feel awesome! If you have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook and all the other bullshit. We are very excited. Bye!